Hello guys, welcome back with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. New York, the U.S. economy will need tight monetary policy for some time before inflation is under control. A fact that means lower growth, a weaker job market, and some time for household and business. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said on Friday in remarks warning there is no quick curve for fast raising price. Reducing inflation is likely to require as a sustained pair of bilateral growth. Moreover, there will very likely be some softening of labor market conditions while higher in interest rates, slower growth, and softer labor market conditions will bring down inflation. They will also bring some time to household and business. Paul said in prepared remarks for a speech to the Jackson Hole Hulk Central Banking Conference in Wyoming. Chairman Powell spoke today at Jackson Hall where a maintained and retired the hawkish stance the U.S. Federal Reserve is taking towards the current high levels of inflation. In a short and concise speech, he made several points. Firstly, that the economy was still showing strong underlying momentum and, the, and that the labor market in particular remains out of balance. Second, that interest rates will continue to rise to a restrictive, restrictive stance and importantly stay here for some time. Partly, because the Fed views it will take time for in inflationary force to this line, but also because in previous in First January episode, it was a mistake to relax policy too early. In short, the speech was hawkish, and we would expect yield for of government's debt to continue to to rise. Paul's short but direct speech was focused on delivering a message to the market to reset expectations for a longer period of maintaining tiger monetary policy condition in order to successfully combat inflation. He provided a historical context and justification for the need to mention levels when the current cycle peak is reset and indicate the Fed's willingness to do so even in the face of a recession and rising unemployment. So, the headline summary is that we are getting closer to the peak, but we will hint out for an extended period prior to any potential path downward. It was pretty much in line with what we are expecting, and that's even though they don't want to give forward guidance. They are going to try and guide what markets to the idea that they are going to slow down the pace of the hiking cycle, but they are going to offset the with the idea that rates are going to be stretched for long, and that was what was stressed within the actual statement that duration is now the preference, having a longer period of Tighter monetary policy is opposite to you know continuing from loading it at the expense of potentially having to cut rates in the future. I don't think markets necessarily praise this correctly to begin with. This was a speech for his legs because this feat has been terminated for its problem transitory view of Rising inflation, which was exacerbated by a perception that Paul Walden be thought now to be do what's necessary to expel inflation from the economy by invoking the word of the of other Fed comrades who have had to deal with inflationary pressures. Paul made it clear how he wants to be preserved as a Fed shareholder de- restored price stability in order to restore a strong economy foundation. Given the backdrop of easy financial conditions since early July, as we expected, we have seen a pushback by Fed Chair Jerome Powell on the market's assessment of an immediate pivot by warning against loosening policy sooner rather than later. With which leads, inflation has started to show signs of a third, some of the more resilient and persistent 
compa components remain elevated. In addition, the labor market remains tight. The one sector which is showing signs of clear slowdown in activity is housing. In his speech, Kerr Powell kept a red race of on the table for September, we have now revealed the terminal rate to around 4% from 3% previously, and think rates may remain higher for longer, which seems more consistent with the Fed's stance of keeping policy rates restrictive until cleaner season of economic and inflation slow down appear. Maybe that's all from me. Thanks for the watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.